Okay, the Lord gave me an image of two trees in the desert. One was really sickly looking. It didn't have any green leaves on it. It looked like it was about to die. Um, the other one was also planted in the sand in the desert and it was next to a stream that was flowing in the desert. And, um, that one was green. Um, it, it looked like lush and it had, uh, like a fullness to it and fruit growing on it. It looked very healthy. Okay. This is what the Lord says. He says that the desert is representative of times of lack in your life. Um, he says in times of lack, you have two options where to plant your mind, your spirit. Okay. Where to plant yourself. Um, you can either plant yourself away from the stream, uh, or you can plant yourself by the stream. Okay. The stream represents him, his provision, his Holy spirit, um, his living water. Okay. Now the tree that is further away, that is not planted by the stream. That is a person who is, um, overtaken by anxiety about the lack and trying to do everything in their own power to, uh, compensate for the lack. Okay. They're trying to do everything in their own power. Um, this is what the world is going to look like during famine. Okay. Everyone's going to be rushing around trying to do everything in their own power. He says that, uh, the tree that is planted by the stream is planted by the source of living water. And though the desert, it's in the desert, it's in the midst of all this lack, it is fruitful and prosperous because its source is the living water. It is the Lord himself. So um, instead of like, putting it root, its roots out into the sand, trying to grab things, trying to grab, um, from, from the sand and, and trying to make up for the lack as much as possible within the lack, it puts its roots out and grabs from the living water. Okay. This is a spiritual act and it's a spiritual mindset, even though in the physical, there may be lack, um, in the spirit, we need to be putting our roots out into uh, the Holy Spirit, into the Lord as our living water, as our provider. Um, and and we, we then, when we are surrounded by lack, we will um, be fruitful and we will have enough, okay? So the Lord gave me Jeremiah 17 and, um, this is, this is basically saying the same thing. Okay. It says, thus says the Lord cursed is the man who trusts in mankind and makes his flesh, his strength and whose heart turns away from the Lord for, for he will be like a bush in the desert and he will not see when prosperity comes, but he will live in stony waste in the wilderness. Um, <laughs> so this is taking it one step further. Um, you know, even when prosperity comes, if he's not connected to the source, he will not see any of that prosperity. Okay. Uh, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and who trusts. Okay, sorry. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose trust is the Lord. For he will be like a tree planted by the water that extends its roots into the stream, and he will not fear when heat comes. But its leaves will be green, and he will not be anxious in the year of drought nor cease to yield fruit. Okay. So it says he will not be anxious in the year of drought. He will not cease to yield fruit. 
because his his, his um, roots have extended into the living water. Um, so the Lord, um, the Lord says this is for now, and this is also for those um, living in the time to come. When there will be famine and when there will be lack, okay, um, we are on we are on the very beginning phases of all this happening. Um, if you are aware of everything that's going on, um, but he says he says that's you know this is for now and for then, okay. Uh, thank you, Lord. He also says that this is not just about food. This is about other areas in your life that you feel lack in, um, that you feel something is missing. Uh, he, he says that, that you have the option of where to plant yourself and where you plant yourself is going to, um, affect the outcome. Okay. Um, how much fruit you produce and, um, how much anxiety you experience when you're running around trying to do things on your own, um, trying to make up for the lack in your life, then that causes a lot of stress. It causes a lot of anxiety, but when you are planted there, just planted there and your roots are extended to the living water. Um, you're not running around trying to, to, to do things on your own. You are pooling from the source. You are pooling from the source. Okay. So there's no anxiety in there. It's like, it's like a time of rest in the midst of the world being in this anxious, um, like, uh, mindset running around trying to, to figure out what's going on and how to help themselves. Okay. Um, the Lord also reminded me of a word he gave me quite a while ago that he wants me to attach to this message because it is relevant. And, um, so he wants If you're listening to the message, I'm going to post it in the um, description box. It's there's going to be a link to it in the description box. Um, Or if you are using this, if you're listening to this on Facebook, I will put it in the comments. Okay. Um, So the Lord says to go and listen to that one as well, uh, because these two go together and it is, um, it is an extension of this message. And it's something that he, he wants you to really grab a hold of and realize where your source is in the time of lack. And even though it may look bad, okay, like the things, things in the natural look different than things in the spirit, Um, so, uh, we need to be spiritually minded. Okay. And, um, not let the things in the natural trip us up on where our spirit lies and where our, how our spirit reacts to things. Okay. So I'm going to, uh, post that in the the description box or in the comments if you're listening on Facebook please go and listen to it because the lord says it applies to this message um i think that is it i love you guys and i will speak to you again next time he has me come on here <laughs>